Okay, I gotta get this started go soon. I do not have much time to react to this. Oh boy. Okay, I got audio. I'm going to switch to the other screen. Hopefully it doesn't screw up. Oh boy. Oh, more Mario. Wait, is this Mario and Luigi? The only thing I know about is that there's going to be a, a reveal of Prime, unfortunately. Wait, they have the Magikoopa powers. Finally, another Mario and Luigi title. I thought the series was dead. Oh, is this going to be two-player? The gimmick is that it's finally going to be a two-player RPG. Oh. And they're not in the Mushroom Kingdom again. Oh, no. But please tell me Starlo is not in this one. Please. And please tell me that other thing isn't a Starlo replacement. Give him combo move. Wait, why does he have a frying? That looked like a frying pan. Yeah, just don't. Oh, <laughs> this isn't like every one of them. Bros moves again. Oh my word, I cannot wait. I guess also the fact that this isn't all like a 2D game. Like, I mean, I guess that was like one 2D scene so far. Oh no, that thing is the. Uh -huh. Oh no, please tell me Bowser's not the main villain. That is... I'm sorry I'm gonna give like a million opinions in this. <laughs> uh, oh, is that the Yoshi's Island style? Brothership? Oh, I love that title. <laughs> oh, I love that. So it's coming out this year. Go and get it! I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Yeah. I tried to turn my phone off, but someone let me know that it was a prime reveal. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love that. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. I just hope it's not like, collect all the items to get the pro tomorrow. Like, uh, the... Yeah, we already know about this, but is there going to be a new twist with it? The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games. From lightning I had to make sure I was recording. <laughs> Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Oh, so that actually teaches how to do it. Online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. And so then, wait, then that's like, that is the entire game. For handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. i to make sure I do actually have everything recorded. Is about to begin. But for a second, I thought it was one of you. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this, so I have no idea. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. Would it be better not to call it two then? Prepares to finish their fight. Okay then. Engage in real time battles and 
unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. So like Zamblight style real time or work together with your teammates. I need to play more RPGs with real time battles, but eh. Don't have time. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. Wasn't this leaked beforehand? What is this? Creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu. I tried turn-based RPG Fantasia. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. I really wish I could have gotten my uh, webcam up and running. I tried right before, but I'm on such a time crunch. I couldn't. Ugh. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. Okay, that's interesting. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Oh. Enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. That's interesting. Let them go. Now. Let us save the world together. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Maybe this was just shown off for like uh some of their is coming Oh. Poco Square. Oh, basketball. Okay. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Thought they had abandoned it, really. Dribble, pass, and shoot. In two-on-two -two matches using... Still not as good as Resort. Nah, nah. I have, like, no interest in actually getting it. Point challenge solo and score yeah. It's as you can within the time limit. The four players can also compete in five streak battles. Oh, and you can hit each other's balls. Local play, you can team oh. Worldwide in two on two online matches. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That's not too far. Ooh. It's gonna be an adventure game. It's a 2D adventure game, okay. Metroidvania, maybe? Ooh. Looks like it. Ooh, more floaty. Okay, then. Neo. Okay, then. It's an array of cartoon classics. Hmm? Leap into a new update. Oh, uh, yeah. The Illusion Island. Oh. Arnoff's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoff, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Maybe I should try out this game uh, at some point. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing, because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Interesting. And Hello Kitty. Animal Crossing Club. <laughs> oh no. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Okay, then. Let's 
dead loony in this wacky sports game. So Mario Sports Club, then. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Watch out, Doc. That's all, folks. Let's see if you can beat your PC and game on. Emergency meeting. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added Ooh. to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. Okay, then. A monster army is at your command. Oh, is this going to be like an actual army? Army? Instead of just like simple Pokemon? Oh. Yeah. vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against yeah. the Magus's army. Interesting. Plant seeds, then cultivate, and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. What? <laughs> Find food on? <laughs> to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat okay merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes okay join the rebellion to stop the magus in farmagia launching on nintendo switch november 1st Oh, we're doing a remake of Country Returns. Okay. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The villainous Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hordes. <laughs> it's funny how them all still look a little bit odd. <laughs> Level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match yeah. for these top bananas. I mean, a version of this game without the motion controls is actually. I know they have more health. Does this also have the? And even hitching a ride on Rambi. Was this recorded in the easier mode? Rotation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS. Oh, yeah. Okay. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. I do have the 3DS version, though. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's Jungle Escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Okay, a reveal, I guess, then. Is this Zelda? That character design looks like something from... Oh! Okay, so this is actually coming westward. Westward. Dragon Quest 3 Remake. I'm definitely picking this up, even though I kind of got bored with the original with version. To face the arch fiend on an epic adventure. I do find it weird they didn't change up like the animations. Monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. 
Oh no, that means this is going to get hit with a dang uh, copyright thing because Dragon Quest music. Oh no. Should I just cut out? I'm, I'm just going to cut out all the sound for this entire trailer. Actually, anything that was on Square Enix, I'm just going to cut that out. Uh, I, need, I need to give the Dragon Quest games a nerd try again. I had to kind of force myself to beat, uh... Was it Builders 2? I think, yeah, Builders 2. I just didn't... Oh no. What was it about I didn't really care about? Yeah, definitely having to cut the music out. And okay, I think this was leaked. That it also includes the first two. Oh, or they're also Oh Okay. But yeah, that leaked, I think. I was attempting to avoid spoilers, but uh near impossible these days. いろんな結構ですね。そして今日サプライズで発表したドロンクエスト1&2も80D通じで読み上げることが決定しました。時系列としては3が物語の始まりとなっており、3、1、2の順番でプレイしてもらうと圧倒どれと展開が待っています。yeah, it's not new about, but I mean, that's the exact same thing they did with Zelda. The Link to the Past is first, and then Zelda 1, then Zelda 2. Then they went back further with Ocarina of Time, after Link's Awakening, and blah 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 blah. We hope you're excited to play the entire Urgric Trilogy, now in HD 2D. This would be more fun than those mobile ports they put on Switch. I don't like the... <laughs> Sorry. About to puke here. Say hello to Jaws? Wait. He-Man? Great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages. I just realized that had clarity. As you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica, they're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch. I mean, at least looks interesting, but I do not like Funkos. <laughs> Board of spooky, so we're going to just quickly mention uh, Luigi's Mansion, then. Yeah. Ready for an adventure of oh, this looks better in the original reveal. Summon your courage Hello? And explore multiple mansions. Yeah, this looks better in the first reveal of it. I, you know what? Maybe I will pick this up because I like the Poltergust in this game better than it is in three. On Nintendo Switch, June 27th. I don't know if I'll... Available now on Nintendo eShop. Oh wait, June 27th? Mm -hmm. Meet the quirky little Dampa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him wait. on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore dungeons... Wasn't well, this a 3DS game? Customers I think I heard about these at some point. Decorate your island I don't know where. And more. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Oh, I don't like free to play stuff, though. Oh. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Okay, then. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. And build out your decks to oh no, this is gonna be an our free to play thing, isn't it? You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Embark on an expedition. Oh, Darkest Dungeon remake? Oh, roguelike RPG. 
board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Oh, that's interesting. Nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. I still haven't played the original though. After each deadly run, Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Right. Oh, what are we getting? Warrior Land 4? Oh! Four swords! Yeah, the best version. <laughs> but this is the original version, not the anniversary edition, though. Yeah. Come on, Warrior Land 4. Warrior Land 4? Warrior Land 4? Coming to the new Nintendo 64. Oh. Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Oh. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And. Uh. Oh. Right. I haven't played that either. There are a million games I have not played that I need to. Ooh. A lot of these are... Available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. Hmm. Set sail to save the Oh, wait. Which one is this? Has this one shown before? It looks familiar. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Okay. Take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. And the world shall turn to Ash. <laughs> okay, yeah, I haven't ever seen any of these games, so. Take on tactical turn based battles. Where you'll combine the um. befriended with objects in various ways. That seems to imply your friend dead. <laughs> phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. I think it's safe to say your friend's dead. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the lost hero. Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Street Fighter. Seven arcade oh. games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Oh. In X Men versus Street Fighter. And will this get a physical copy too? I hope so. And more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, this is the new Mario Party. Yep. The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, so what's the gimmick? Ooh, these boards look pretty big. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Oh, these look big. Coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice Island, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. 
and things oh, I love that. mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party oh. games make their return. Some There's so many boards then. Speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Oh, I like this. This looks really. Oh no. Up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. When the that's that is excellent. Because that's the problem. Like the other ones, the last couple just don't have that much content. At least they don't feel like it. In the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards, mini games, 20-player online gameplay, and more. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. Oh, is that Link? Link! Hold up. Please tell me he has the green tunic and not just the It's Ganon! We got Ganon again! We got your original 2D Zelda! Wait, this looks like a Link Between Worlds. Or not a Link Between Worlds, but... This is original 2D Zelda! I'm sorry, I get, like, the way... WAIT! Ooh, we played Zelda! We've got a Zelda game where we play as Zelda. How is this going to work? I want to see how it works. I want to see how it works. Come on. This, here's my thing. Zelda being playable, I know they're going to have some kind of gimmick to it. Oh, come on. Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions. See, that was my thing. I knew they would never just give her Link's move set. To explain more, please take a look at this video. I knew they'd never do that. Like that's the thing. That's it's Zelda. They're obsessed with gimmicks. Now please tell me this has been made by Grezzo and they're making their own now original. Alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious Aww. staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. Aww. She has Link's own Tri Rod at a table she found. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Oh. Oh. There's a wall blocking your path. You can create Kane Samaria. Get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Okay, I, I'm a little bit weird on this gimmick, but I'm also, like, not weird, but unsure. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. Oh, yes! This is gimmick fight the- 
doing so, they'll fight by your side. Okay, I'm fully on board with this right now. Blade trap! Bomb fish? Oh my gosh, I love this. Deku Bombas. I love it. I love this game already. This is exactly what... Mm, I love, like, variety, item variety, and, like, all the sort of weird little stuff in these games. And, like, this is a game of that! Oh, I love this. This is exactly kind of what I was hoping for. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the echo ability, which I love how he's wearing a shirt of Link being knocked out. Of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. A without post in 2D? Solve puzzles and battle enemies will change I love it. I love this. So many of these things have been missing for years. A redead. The Legend of Zelda. Have redeads ever been in 2D? P hat. There's a P hat. Switch light system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series. Oh come on, guys! The switches. Uh. When was it again? I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Wait. Uh, what? When was it coming out again? I wasn't paying attention. I need to put in my twenty pre-orders. I love it. Let's see a few more headlines. Ah! I have to cut more sound out. Should I just skip this? Can, can I skip this? I'm going just... Yeah, listen, I, I'm... Okay. Yeah, we already knew about this, which is... Weird. Weird. Well, I still think I'd try these games, but like, this is kind of weird. Lego Island 2, best Lego game. Anyway. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers. I mean, it does kind of fit fine mechanical enemies, though. <laughs> oh no, anyway, I have not played this. Game. But, um. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two player local or online co op. You know LEGO really wants to do, like, a LEGO Nintendo game at some point. Oh! This game's coming to Switch. Curious how it looks. Uh, some of these textures look a little bit... Not textures, but the models. You can tell they turned a lot of things in, like, 2D... I, I don't know if that's the case in the original version or not. I still haven't played it. Okay, yeah, that... Some of this just mm. experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of the cat, separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully I really do hope the next console is like really like strong enough that stuff having to be down like scaled for uh, the console isn't as common. I feel like this is maybe a bit too many spoilery stuff for the game. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like some of these trailers go on a bit too long. Welcome home, Hobbit. If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now, a leisurely existence, nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle-earth, can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, 
work together to solve problems and even share a meal or three okay explore garden fish forest. i still haven't watched lord of the rings yes i know i need to or read it or something homemade dishes plus you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when tales of the shire launches on the nintendo switch system this holiday Okay, this should be finishing up soon. <gasps> wait! Wait! Checkmate. Really? <laughs> yes! It's finally getting localized! The best Ace Attorney! <laughs> I'm sorry, but these HD sprites are hilarious looking. Okay, yeah, I would prefer the sprite art, because, just, they look like bobbleheads. Please physical copy, please physical copy, please physical copy. I can't wait. This is opening it up to so many more people to play this game. I don't know. This uh, Dangarampa. I am currently now fiddling with my earbuds. Yeah. Yeah. This is Dangarampa de developers. Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. <laughs> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. in secrecy and the unavoidable loss of allies can takumi survive this hundred day trial colored by extreme and despair and return to his normal life the creators of danganronpa present the yeah last defense academy launching on nintendo switch early next it's the year. eyes it's the eyes they like using those eyes Oh. Is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Which means I probably have to cut this music again too because Square Enix fun. <sighs> the Empire of the Ren across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Okay. Innovative features like you so like, uh, Octopath in a way. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future. And protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Okay. Dancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven, launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. I like the stylized too, so it's not like really obnoxious in the title. To experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. I assume this is gonna be the last thing now. And I already know the big fall reveal, unfortunately. Please take a look. It's really hoping for a K for this remake, though. 
Oh no, why are we giving a date? <laughs> Oh, the Prime, oh, an update to the Prime 3 gunship. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. She's like less bulky than the Prime, well, I guess 3, she's not that bulky. Okay. Space Pirate theme, okay, this is probably intro. What's the twist going to be? Okay. Yes! Standbys are back! I was worried they might remove it. Honestly. <laughs> so this is gonna be kinda like Prime 3's intro. So wait, are there infighting? I'm not seeing anyone behind- Are those Federation soldiers? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, he's finally back. And he's brought Metroids. Sam, I should brought Ice Beam, right? Ooh. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Okay. No date. Oh. Ooh. Wait, this isn't Talon 4 again, is it? Imagine if it does go back to Talon 4. Okay, so this is probably going to be on the successor console. And that music sounds like it's going to be Prime themed. At Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. Can't wait. Today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay. Exciting Direct. New Zelda. New Zelda. Also the best Stace Attorney. But also New Zelda. Woo! Okay, uh, I need to get going. Okay, bye. <laughs>